Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to this video where we're gonna be talking about creating a master detail page. Now to get to where we are at this point, you will probably want to watch the previous video, but if not, all we have is two tables. We have a contact table and then notes, which references that contacts table. Going into the contacts, we can see all of our contacts and their information, and then we can actually select one of these people's names and we get the notes about these people. And the idea here is we can keep track of interactions with these people, so that way it's not so unorganized when I do collaboration requests with other people. I can have all the information about a particular person all in one spot. This works, but what I don't like about this is it's a little wonky getting the contact information on another page and then having to choose this drop down to filter the contact ID. And you can see, you know, I have to uncheck this and then select another contact ID. What I really want is I want all the people information on the left and their contact information and the notes associated with them on, on the right. So that's what we're going to do in this video with a master detail page. And that's the value of this page offers is it allows us to store a little bit more information on one page. So going over to the app builder for this application, what we're going to do is we're going to create a page and in here we're going to click master detail and you can choose which style you want. I'm going to go with side by side in that situation. The usernames will be over here on the left. We'll get a little bit more information about them up here on the top on the right, and then we'll get their notes down here on the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do. The starting page number, that's just an internal thing to keep track of the page so we can go and edit it. So you don't have to worry about that. We do want to give this a name though. We'll give it info and select next. Now I'm going to select create a new navigation menu entry. You can call it info or you can call it user details or master detail page, whatever you'd like to see. Click next. Now we need to select a table that the information comes from. In here, we're gonna select contacts, primary display column, we'll just go first name. So that's the information on the left is gonna show people by first name, but we're gonna also do last name. If your primary way of reaching out to these people for their collaborations is by email or Twitter handle, you might wanna change the primary display column because that's what you're gonna readily see. But for me, first and last name works great. And then we have to choose what table we want information to pop up when we select that name. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select notes and then that's all we got, so we'll click create. All right, so right off the bat, let's just run this, see what we get. And here's our new table. You can see all the people's names over here on the left. We select one. We get more info about them, so we get all the information from the contact table. And then down here we get the notes of the information on how we reached out to this person. Now one beautiful thing that this master detail page fixed for us, we didn't have to do anything crazy, is that when we go and add a note in here, you can see that the ID is automatically populated there. We still have to select the date, but that's not a big deal. We can choose today, and you know, maybe this will give you the flexibility to choose a different date if you forgot to make a note at some point or whatever it might be. I think what we'll do is we'll default this to today and I'll show you guys how to do that, but it'll give you the capability to change it if you want. And I'll just say, reached out on Twitter about product review collab. Create that and look at that. Automatically shows up down there. It's looking pretty good. You can go through the different people and see how the pages change, the notes change. Everything looks pretty good. Now the only other thing that I wanted to show you guys is over here on the left you can see the info page is right there, but if you go to the home page, you don't see it on this home page, you just see the contacts and notes. And I want to show you guys how to add that info page right here as another button. So what you're going to do is edit page one, and you can see in here you have this page navigation, and this source panel here has list page navigation. Click on that little arrow, you can edit component. And what that's going to do is it's going to take you to this list. And this basically is the list of pages you want to link to. You can see we're in shared components. So you could actually use this list in numerous locations, which is nice. We're just using it in one. That's fine for us. But if you wanted to use this list in, in another component, you can do that because it's part of the shared components thing. So if you want to see the shared components, you can also click these, this triangle circle square thing over here, select that. And under navigation, you can see we have lists. The one we're looking for is page navigation. And we're going to create an entry. What do we want to call it? We'll just call it the master detail info. Scrolling down, all we got to do is choose what page we want to link this to. And it was the info page. 
You can look through all of the other options in here, but for me, that should be good. We'll just go with the defaults and we'll just create list entry. So there it is, it exists. Going back to our application, we can do a refresh. And there we go, we got the master detail info. Now one other thing I might edit in here is I might go in here and see this image slash class. We can actually choose one from this list here. So let's maybe go with the address book one, that's kinda cool. And we'll apply those changes. Going back, we do a refresh. And now we have that logo over here on the right. Now if we wanna update this logo over here on the left, we can do a similar thing. These come from two different lists. So this one's populated from a list, and then these three are populated from a list. So what we can do is actually go back to our lists, and under this list dropdown, we can choose a different list. And we're actually going to go to desktop navigation menu, and choose this info right here. Going in here, we can choose an image slash class, and we'll go with the address book up here, right here, and then we'll apply those changes and go and do a refresh. And there you go, you got the icon to match in both spots. Thank you guys for watching. In the next video, we're gonna elaborate on this application. Hopefully this has been helpful for you guys so far, and I'm looking forward to what we got next, so stay tuned.